Well, it turned out a member of House Budget Committee plus the House, House Energy and Commerce Committee, Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time today. Uh, a lot of news to get to. Absolutely. If I could start with that, the January 6th committee, uh, the contempt of Congress charges there against Bannon, that begins today. What are your overall thoughts on it? Well, first of all, we're talking about an illegitimate committee that has been produced and provided to you by Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats. You know, they are fixated on January of 2021 because they're terrified of, of November of 2022. You know, when I'm in the district, nobody asks me about Steve Bannon. Nobody asks me about January 6th. They want to know about gas prices. They want to know about inflation. They want to know about crime. They want to know about our southern border. They want to know what we're going to do about our economy. They're not interested in this kind of thing. This is only the Democrats trying to deflect the attention of the American media, and they're succeeding to a certain extent with that, at least with the media. But down home, the grassroots, they're not interested in this. Yeah, you, know, you mentioned gas prices. I wanted to bring that up as we just got a report now that uh, uh, a barrel of oil um, has hit the $100 mark or close to that uh, this morning here. The average price for uh, those paying at the pump, $4.52, according to AAA. It has been said that President Biden's trip overseas was meant to call for more, more oil to be produced. Is that what happened? Uh, listen to the president here. This was from Friday. We had a good, we had a good d d discussion on ensuring global energy security and adequate oil supplies to support global economic growth, and that will begin shortly. I'm, and, uh, and I'm doing all I can to increase the supply for the United States of America. Uh, but I believe he also said after the summit happened in the meeting uh, that took place overseas that they did not discuss oil and that OPEC, that's where that's going to be done. Many of you have read any of the reporting on this. Uh, Saudi Arabia had pushed to OPEC pushing forward, it's, uh, saying it's not going to be unilateral or, or the Saudis would produce more oil, but rather uh, those who are in line with OPEC, that would be the call for it there. So begs the question, what got done, Congressman? Well, that, that's a good question. What did get done? I suspect nothing got done besides a fist pump to the prince. And, you know, hey, we got $5 a gallon oil here, our, our gas. And, and But, you know, this is all a result of the policies of the Biden administration. The first thing he did when he entered into office was to attack uh, fossil fuels, was to, to declare a war on fossil fuels here in America. Now he's selling our reserves to other countries, and he's going to the Middle East asking them, begging them to pump more oil so that we can buy that oil, which is dirtier uh, energy than what we have here in America. You know, we had energy independence under the Trump administration. We had energy independence and, and energy dominance, and he threw all that away. And now we get into the situation where we're having to buy oil from from other countries and that that aren't necessarily our allies and it, it, it's just a, a a mess of what he has gotten us into because of his policies yeah it has been said the president did repeat that that wasn't the purpose of his visit rather to promote uh the u.s agenda however many thought otherwise i wanted to bring it domestically back here another uh heavy topic abortions uh democrats uh, lawmakers floating around ideas like allowing abortions on federal grounds or federal funded transportation to uh, states that allow abortions i know you co-sponsored a bill sir to introduce legislation to prevent federal funding for abortion transportation you see this from the daily caller here why to you, is this bill so important? Well, it's important because the federal government should not be using taxpayers' fund to assist people in getting an abortion. Abortion is not legal by here in America. It's legal in certain states, yes, but in the states it's not legal in. We should not be using taxpayers' money to transport people across state lines in order to get an abortion. This is obviously a conflict, obviously against what we believe here, and that's why we introduced this legislation, to make sure that emergency transportation is not used across state lines to assist people in getting an abortion. 
I want to ask you, with your background there for the House Budget Committee, talking about money, spending, you've got inflation at 9.1% here, the producer price index at 11.3%, the highest has been in 41 years, yet this administration has called for more government spending. Senator Manchin all but dealt a, a, a huge blow to that, wanting to say no to the, the climate agenda portion of President Biden's uh, reconciliation bill. Talk to me about that. Is more government spending needed? What's next for the administration? What's next for Congress and spending more money? The last thing we need to do right now is to put more money into the economy. We've got too much money chasing after too few goods right now. That's what's caused the inflation. You know, the American Rescue Plan, it is estimated by the CBO that the American Rescue Plan, that $2 trillion by itself, added at least 4% to our inflation rate just by itself. That is the last thing we need. Right now, do no harm. No more money into the economy. That's not what we need. That's why the Fed is raising the interest rate to try to cool off this economy and to try to bring down the inflation rate. People are hurting. I had someone call me. I had a, a, a single mom who texted me a couple of weeks ago. I can't afford gas to get to work, but I can't afford not to go to work. What am I going to do? These are real life problems that people are having out here now. And this administration, they're tone deaf. They don't get it. They don't understand it at all. I will leave it right there. Out of time with you. Congressman Buddy Carter joining us live there from Georgia. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you.